In this video, we'll see how to solve some of the graph problems uh, with solutions. The first question that we have is, can a simple graph exist with 15 vertices with each of degree 5? Justify your answer. The answer to this question is, no, we cannot have a graph with this given specifications. The reason is there are two different uh, theorems that you can quote here. So the first uh, theorem that you can quote here is that uh, we have a theorem which says the number of vertices with odd degree should be even. Here, uh, each of these vertices has degree 5 means we have 15 vertices. All these 15 vertices have degree 5. It means we have odd number of vertices with odd degree, which is wrong or which is not possible. So here we will write, no, it is not possible. We cannot have a graph with this specifications. So the reason is we cannot have such a graph also, you write, with the given specifications. Uh, reason is, as I told you, uh, two reasons we can write. So one reason is that uh, we can say that because the number of odd vertices, odd vertices in the sense, verti vertices with uh, odd degree, the number of odd vertices should be even. Here we have 15 vertices with uh, odd degree. Therefore, it is not possible. That is one reason, uh, one uh, explanation. Another explanation you can give is that answer 2 I will write. And for this answer 2 also, we will write uh, the first statement is this. No, we cannot have such a graph. And the reason here we write is that there is a theorem which says sum of all degrees or sum of degrees of all vertices is equal to twice the number of edges. 2 into number of edges. So let us try to find number of edges here. So number of edges is equal to sum of degrees of all vertices divided by 2. Now every degree has 5. Every vertex has 5 as a degree. So we have 15 vertices, right? So 15 into 5. This is the sum of all the degrees. Divide this by 2, which is 75 by 2 equals to 37.5 so we cannot have this many number of edges right we cannot have a decimal number of edges therefore such a graph is not possible so we can write it this way also so this is the explanation for this question the next question is a very simple question drawing a graph k2 comma 5 so k2 comma 5 represents a complete bipartite graph with two nodes or two vertices in V1 and five vertices in V2. So what are this V1 and V2? These are sub vertex sets of vertex set V. So I will write uh, two sets here, two nodes here. This is V1 and I'll write five here. That is V, this is from V2. And we will uh, join them. And uh, this is complete bipartite graph means every node from first uh, set should be connected to all nodes of the second set. That's it. Here we will write V2 and this is K2,5. The next question is again a simple question where we are supposed to write uh, degree of each vertex in the given graph. Let us write, uh, just count the degrees of each vertex and write degree of V1 is 1, 2 and degree of V2 is 1, 2, 3, 4. Just count how many lines are going out of this uh, point. So that is going to be the edges. So there are four edges. That is the degree. Degree of vertex 3 is 4, degree of V4 is 1 and 2, degree of V5 is 1, 2 and 3, degree of V6 it's uh, 3 and degree of V6 is also 3, degree of V7 is 2, a simple question, that's it. The next question is, 
what is the complement of the given graph complement of a graph is written by writing all the vertices and connecting those vertices which are originally not connected in the main graph so here i will write all these vertices v1 to v5 now i connect those vertices which are not connected in the uh, given graph so v1 is connected already to v2 and v3 so in the complement i will not write this instead i will connect v1 with v4 and v5 so v1 to v4 is not there no v1 v4 and v1 v5 is not there in the original graph so that is to be written here now take v2 it is connected already with v1 v3 and v4 it is not connected with v5 so establish that here and then next take v3 it is connected with v1 v2 and v5 not connected with v4 so that i will write here now take v4 uh, v4 is connected only with v2 and v5 now let me connect it with v1 and v3 uh, okay so v4 to v1 is already connected v4 to v3 is also connected now v5 also it is connected with v1 and uh, v2 here okay so that's it this is a complement of the given graph so write down all the vertices and uh, see here uh, which all vertexes are already joined those edges you don't write it here write only those edges which are not connected so basically it is like filling out this connection see here from v1 v2 v3 are already connected now write v4 to v5 now from v2 to v5 v3 to this one now whatever i have written now in a different color that is actually the complement of the uh, given graph the next question that we have is how many edges are there in a graph with 10 vertices each of degree 6 again we use the same theorem that we used earlier number of edges that is 2 times number of edges is equal to sum of all the degrees so we will write sum of degrees divided by 2 so how many degrees are there we have 10 vertices each of them has degree 6 so this is 60 by 2 30 so in this graph we have 30 edges that is the answer now if this question if you are writing uh, don't write just this one line it is for three marks so first write the theorem uh, the theorem is sum of degrees of all the vertices is equal to twice the number of edges write that theorem first and this should be the next step of that the next question is also similar to the previous one define regular graph find number of edges of a four regular graph with six vertices so here uh, defined regular graph we have already seen the definition it is uh, already uploaded in the telegram channel so if you are a bca or mca student of igno or any other university then uh, you can uh, join the telegram channel uh, mentioned in the description uh, you will get all the notes for these videos in that uh, channel so in that i have already given what is a regular graph a regular graph is a graph with uh, in which all vertices have equal degree a regular graph is a graph in which all vertices have equal degree or same degree so here they have given k regular graph means every vertex has four as a degree and there are six vertices we are supposed to find number of edges again write the theorem first uh, number of two times number of edges is equal to sum of degrees of all the vertices so first write that and then number of edges is equal to sum of degrees of all vertices divided by two so what is the sum of degrees here we have six vertices each vertex has four as the degree and divided by two this is 24 by 2 12 it means we have 12 edges in this four regular graph with six vertices the next question a non-directed graph has eight edges find number of vertices if the degree of each vertex is two so here they have given edges we are supposed to find number of vertices same theorem as the previous question which is uh, sum of degrees of all vertices is equal to 2 into 2 times number of edges now here uh, sum of degrees of all vertices we don't know how many vertices are there we'll take n vertex and 
all these vertices has uh, degree 2 therefore the sum of degrees is n into 2 and this is equal to 2 times number of edges is 8 so 2 and 2 gets cancelled therefore number of vertices is 8 so just write down this given uh, graph has 8 vertices the next question is find number of vertices and number of edges in a complete bipartite graph KMN number of vertices is equal to M plus N because uh, the main vertex set is only divided into two sub vertex sets with M and N vertices so the total number of vertices will be sum of these two and number of edges and it is a complete bipartite graph is what they have given. So what do you mean by complete bipartite graph? Every vertex in the first vertex set is connected with all the vertexes of the second vertex set. Therefore, M into N will be the number of edges in a complete bipartite graph. The next question is, how many edges does a complete graph of five vertices have? So what is a complete graph? A complete graph is one in which every vertex is connected with every other vertices. So, if we have n vertex, vertex in a graph, each vertex is connected with all the remaining n minus 1 vertices. So, how many edges does a complete graph have is number of edges in a complete graph. This is again based on, this is called as handshaking theorem. So number of edges in a complete graph is equal to the maximum number of edges in that graph. So which is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2. Now here they have given n is 5, right? Therefore number of edges here is 5 into 4 by 2 which is 10. So a complete graph of 5 vertices will have 10 edges. The next question is similar to one of the previous questions wherein we are supposed to write complement of a given graph. So you already know how to write the complement. So just write these vertices. Here A is connected with C, D, E, F. It's not uh, uh, having an edge with B. So we'll write that here. Same B is connected with C, D, E, F. B and A is already connected here. C is connected only with A and B in the main graph. So we need to connect it to D, E and F. So D. E and F. Next D is connected with A and B only. So we will connect it with C, uh, E and F. With C it is already connected. So I will connect it with E and F. And now uh, E is uh, connected with A and B. Uh, it is already connected with C and D also. So I will connect it with F. F is connected with A and B in the original graph. And we are connecting it with C, D and E which is already established here. This is a complement of the given graph. And if you observe, this is not a connected graph. It means we don't have a path from any vertex to any other vertex. There is no path. So there is a missing connectivity. The next question is where we are supposed to determine. They have given uh, two sequences of degrees and we are supposed to determine whether such a uh, graph exists or not. For the first sub question, the degree sequence is 3, 2, 2, 2, 1. So here, uh, number of vertices we have is 5 and we need to write odd vertices. Number of vertices is 5. Number of odd vertices is, how many vertices have odd degrees? Only 2. 3 and 1. So there are two vertices with odd number as its degree. Number of uh, odd vertices is 2. And now find out sum of degrees of all the vertices. Sum of degrees is 10. Now after writing all this, there are two points that we need to check. The first point is number of odd vertices. This should be an even number. Should be even. So the number of odd vertices should be even. If it is not even, we can straight away write that uh, graph with given specifications does not exist because we have odd number of odd vertices. So here number of odd vertices is even. Therefore, this condition is checked. The next condition that you need to check is find out number of edges in this graph. It should be less than or equal to maximum number of edges. So here write down number of edges. So how to find number of edges? 
so it is sum of degrees divided by 2 which is equal to 5 so we have 10 uh, 10 is the sum of all the degrees dividing by 2 we will get 5 as the number of edges now what is the maximum number of edges for this type of graph maximum number of edges if with uh, 5 as the vertex is equal to 5 into 5 minus 1 by 2 which is 10 20 by 2 10 so number of edges is uh, less than equal to maximum number of edges it cannot be more than that so if a graph has five vertex then maximum it can have 10 edges only or it can have lesser than that in that if it has lesser it means it is not a complete graph if the number of edges is equal to maximum number it means it is a complete graph here number of edges is less means it is not a complete graph but a graph exists with a given specification so here now we will write therefore number of edges is less than equal to maximum number of edges number of edges in the graph is less than equal to maximum number of edges with five vertices so this is also checked therefore graph with given specification exists now the next sequence we will take three triple two and double one next degree sequence is three triple two and double one now here we will write the same as before first let me write number of vertices just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there are 6 vertices and next we will write number of odd vertices means vertices with odd degree here 3 1 and 1 so there are 3 vertices with odd degree since number of odd vertices should be even and here it is odd immediately you can write such a graph does not exist here there is no need to add all these degrees and then write sum of degrees finding number of edges all that is not necessary because from this point itself it is evident that the graph does not exist in the previous question number of odd vertices were even so with, with just that point we cannot conclude that a graph exists so we check the other one also which is number of edges should be less than or equal to maximum number of edges possible for that many number of vertices so we checked all these things so here a graph with a given specification does not exist so these are uh, some of the examples of simple problems from basics of uh, graph theory uh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel so that uh, you can uh, get a notification when I post videos on other topics of graph theory as well. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.